What's up everybody? This is Kev from uh, Geeking is Fun. So uh, today in this video, I'll, this is the first video of the uh, two uh, of the video series, alright? So I'll, I'll be covering uh, uh, basic networking using a uh, router, okay? So in this particular video, I'll be showing you a demonstration of how to uh, communication with, between devices, alright? So the devices we are going to use um, are four PCs, two switch and one router, okay? So let's get started. started. Okay. So this is the Cisco Packet Tracer simulation software. Okay, so uh, here we have all the devices, all right? So like I mentioned earlier, I'll be using two PCs, all right? There are so many different kinds of uh, end devices, all right? But just uh, to get things uh, up and running quickly, we're going to use a generic PC, all right? So that we don't, we don't have to do much configuration because some devices need some specific configuration like IP phones and so on, all right? So we, uh, this is uh, those things are not part of our coverage, all right? So uh, as I've mentioned, there are four PCs here, okay? Four PCs, all right. So PC zero up to PC three. Then I'm going to use uh, two switch. Uh, let's choose uh, this one, okay. And then uh, the router. Let's take uh, this one for example, okay. One router, okay. So we have four PCs, two switch, and one router, okay. Now to connect them, obviously you, you need to have a cable, right? There are different kinds of cables here, right? So each cable is used for a different device, all right? So uh, Again, for to be quick, uh, we, uh, using the auto mode, whereby the software itself will select the, uh, the the right cable for us. Okay, so I'll select the first one, which is auto. So I connect to the devices. Okay. Okay. So if you realize one thing, um, there are some uh, light indicators here, green, orange, and uh, red, something like a traffic light, okay? So usually green means that the link is up, right? Means it's, uh, it's the, the, the link is up, that means uh, we'll be able to communicate. If both sides are green, that means we'll be able to communicate, all right? If it's one, it's yellow, probably it's uh, it's, it's on standby, it's trying to um, start something, all right? If it's red, of course, the link is completely de completely dead, or it's not configured at all. So if you see both sides are red, that means you, don't, you, are, you will not be able to uh, communicate between the two devices, all right? So now, uh, what I'm going to do is that uh, I'm going to configure the router, all right, so that all all the devices will be able to communicate with each other. Right? For example, if you, if you want to communicate from uh, this computer to this computer, PC0 to PC3, you'll be able to co uh, communicate. You can ping, or you can send a PDU or a message here, right? So if you try to do it now, of course, you'll get an error, okay? So the links are all dead at the moment because they are not configured, okay? So to configure this router, the first thing you have to ask yourself is... Um, by looking at this diagram, all right, we need to understand that there are two networks in this in this particular diagram, all right. There are two networks. One is this side, and uh, one is this side. Basically, in a router, every port is a network. Okay. So if I'm about to show you by uh, illustration, what I'll do is that I'll draw a uh, ellipse. Okay. Oops. Sorry about that. Uh, okay. I'll draw a small one. Okay. Let's say this one, for example. Okay. This one. Okay, so this side, all right, this side is one network, and again, uh, another one. Okay, all right, so again, this one is another network, all right, this is one network, and this is another network, all right, so we can um, remove this, okay, so, okay. So each network will have a different network address, all right? So the next thing we have to do is uh, to configure the router so that we will be able to communicate between all these devices, all right? In order to do so, what we have to do is, of course, to double-click the router, all right? So if you're new to Packet Tracer, all right, uh, one thing uh, interesting uh, and also useful given uh, given by Cisco is that um, uh, we can, there are two ways to configure, right? For those of you who are, who are not used to commands, all right? Commands, uh, that means like, uh, uh, pack, uh, Cisco's devices use iOS operating uh, iOS operating system, right? So they have some commands specific to the operating operating system. So if you are if you don't want to uh, type commands, then of course you can use the GUI to configure, which is so much easier and sometimes it saves time as saves time as well, right? So of course. Um, since my target uh, audience is uh, beginners, all right, so I'll be using the I'll be using the GUI instead. Okay, so in order to configure, of course, you click the config uh, tab here, all right, then you go to uh, these two, all right. So these are the ports zero zero and uh, zero zero and zero one. So again, if you go here and point, you'll be able to uh, see the port name, all right? Okay, you can see FA zero zero, and this is uh, this should be FA zero one. Sorry about that. Okay. Oops, something is wrong here. I've, I've clicked something 
something wrong okay um, yeah this is fe01 okay so back again to our configuration menu so the first thing I have to do is of course to check this so that uh, that part is turned on all right so the moment I check his orange so right here again it's not configured although uh, the light here is green okay so uh, down here you can see every single uh, thing I do here we have the respective uh, uh, iOS command fired all right this is the example of the commands that we, we need to enter in case you want to use the uh, C, uh, command mode okay so let's provide the IP address, right? So let's say we're going to, uh, of course, it's in version 4, so we will provide some random address, let's say 192.168.2.5, for example, okay? So, um, okay, so this is the address for this particular port. And uh, the good thing about packet address is that the moment you put your IP address and you click it for the subnet mask, the moment you click here, the subnet mask is automatically provided for us, all right? This is, of course, derived, derived from the IP we have provided because this is class C, so this is in this way, okay? So uh, the next thing I have to do is, of course, the same thing for another port, which is for this port, okay? So we click here, again, we check to turn on, we put another address now, 192.168. let's say, .3.5, okay? So again, we do, we do the same thing, okay? Now, uh, this router has been configured, all right? So at this moment, if you realize if I point to that uh, router, you can see that uh, two ports are, have been have been configured all right and you can see the link is up okay that's why both sides are uh, green okay here I mean, sometimes it may take a bit of time to, uh, to to start here okay so at this level we don't have to configure the switches all right so we just have to configure the PCs all right so in order to configure the PC all right so we double click go to um, config um, sorry desktop IP configuration all right there are so many options here we're going to go to IP configuration okay now we have to provide a uh, if you remember correctly that this port address was this 192.168.2.5 all right so this is uh, this this uh, PC belong to to, to this port so we're going to have uh, these first three segments remain and the last will be something else let's say for example seven all right so the subnet mask is given and the default gate the default gateway is the router's ip address that means like for example this port this port's address in other words all right so that's all you have to configure you have to do almost the same thing for the next pc as well go to desktop ip configuration provide the ip let's say we give it dot uh, nine for example okay then we give the port address okay and then uh, okay so at this at this uh, at this point okay you'll be able to see that we can actually communicate between these two devices so you can see successful and the other way was also be successful even in fact we can even try to ping from uh, communicate from this pc to this router again successful right but what happens if you try to communicate from uh, contact this pc you send a message to pc2 for example of course you get an error message okay because uh, these two pieces have not been configured okay so let's do that let's do it okay so let's check again the other port we give the address as 192.168.3.5 okay so we go to desktop ip configuration the default gateway is 192.168.3.5 okay so let's give an address for this particular pc let's put seven for example okay and then um, again Okay, it means so 192.168.3.12. Okay, for example, now uh, about okay, in case uh, you, are, you are new to com uh, network computer networking and all this stuff, okay, uh, an IPv4 address is actually a 128 bit address, all right? So in binary means it uh, sorry, in decimal means it can start from zero and a maximum of 255. That is because in uh, in, in binary, right, IP version 4, it has each segment has got 8 bits, all right, 8 binary digits, 8 bits. So you have 4 segments, so 8 times 4 is 32. That's why IP version, sorry, I mentioned IP version 4 is 1 to 8 bit. I'm very sorry about that. That, it was, that is IP version 6. In IP version 4, it is 32 bit address, all right. So each segment is 8 bits, you times by 4 is 32. So this, the smallest uh, decimal number is 0 and the maximum is 255. So you can put any number. But don't use 0 and 255. Those are actually um, are reserved, all right? Or you are prohibited, all right? So if you try to put 255, it's not... Um that address is prohibited. Probably a packet address will give you a warning. So you can you can use any number from one to two five four, all right? So in this case, let's put thirteen for example. Okay. So uh, we have done the we have configured the router and of course and all the four PCs. So let's try to do a local connect uh, con contact from this PC to this PC. Again, successful, all right? So um, okay. And now let's let, let's try to ping across. Okay. Sometimes it might fail, but you can keep trying. Okay. May take a bit of time. 
okay successful all right so if it shows successful that means everything is configured correctly all right of course you can also try to uh, send a me message from here okay instead of uh, using this uh, message all right a pdu you can also try to ping all right for example if you know this pc's address was uh, 3.7 all right so let's try to ping the pc all right 3.7 so go to um, terminal is it sorry no command prompt okay let's try to ping it 192.168 192.168.3.7 you should be able to get a reply if you don't get a reply probably something is wrong okay so no lost all right 100 percent um, zero loss all right zero percent loss that was good and uh, all right so that's it about uh, for the for the part one all right so we don't have to configure the router so again this is a uh, this is net network one all right this is sorry uh, this is network one and this would be network 2 all right so every network or every port is a different network all right so uh, that's all all right so for the next part i'll be talking about uh, routing all right we're going to have uh, two routers all right almost similar but we could have two routers so uh, signing off thank you